South African artists of various dis uh, disciplines who were based in the neighboring country. That raid left 12 people dead and many injured. And although artists and visionaries like uh, Dr. Mugani Walisuroti, Yora Pete, Josicile, and Jonas Gwangwa, to mention a few survived the raid, it still goes down as one of their most unforgettable days in exile. To honor that day, musician and member of the ensemble, Steve Dyer, will host a jazz suite commemoration he calls Kusale Izibongo. The performance will take place at the Orbit in Bramfontein today, which marks exactly 30 years since that bleak day. To take us back to 14 June 1985, we are joined by uh, Dr. Sorote. Doctor, thank you very much for joining here us, uh, on One Life. And I can only imagine after all these years, the memory must still be very painful. The memory is still uh, there. Uh, as the memory about June 16 should still be there. And both uh, must mean to us that we must commit ourselves uh, from those happenings to ensure that our country is peaceful, stable and secure. I think that is what we should be thinking. You know, uh, uh, Kevin Kari gave us a very, very beautiful phrase that must always remind us. He's the one who coined the phrase, freedom was not free when we were working together at Freedom Park. Mm. But coming to uh, uh, that, that day of June 14, uh, what we must remember, especially now, a little boy, a little Musutu boy was killed, quite young, very little, with a mother. Two Botswana women were also killed. The other people who were killed, my view is that we all had expected to sacrifice our lives. And what we can only do about what happened that day is remember and cherish as uh, Kosizile and uh, Dai are going to do today. Mm. Remember them so that that spirit, that uh, spirit of absolute no surrender must still be with us. Doctor, just very quickly, just educate us. For many this morning, they're going to hear about the story for the very first time. Just kind of tell us what led up to, to, to that raid. Well, two things first. Uh, first of all, the ANC at that day, around that time, was holding one of the major conferences in Kabwe, which was really a groundbreaking conference in the sense that for the first time, the ANC was going to uh, have in the NEC Colors, Indians, and whites. But uh, the other very important thing was we were now committing for total onslaught against apartheid. Hmm. And of course, who, those of us who were in the front in Botswana, we knew that the, the Boers at that time were planning to attack, although we did not know where. Uh, there were fr many front areas. Uh, and on that 14th, 14th of June in the morning, you'd have thought when you wake up, they will not the city of Habroni will have been totally destroyed mm. because of the, the force with which they attacked, they attacked us. Uh, it did not deter us. The following morning when we, we woke up, we planned what to do. The power of the, that ensemble, the kind, of, the kind of messages you were singing, talking about, the, the issues you were discussing, Give us some insight into to just... Medio Art Ensemble was founded in 1978, and I'll say uh, I must remember the people who founded it. There were five key people who founded it. There was Ndate Makoti, Comrade Ndate Makoti, who has passed on. Mm. There was a Raymond Mukwena, who connected us with, a, with a, our headquarters in Lusaka. And there was myself, Tim Williams, former uh, Deputy Commissioner of Police. Yeah and Petusa Rote, my wife, ex-wife. Uh, we were planning, and I must share something with you about growth. We were planning, the three of us were planning what to do, how to ensure that culture becomes a weapon of struggle and so on. At the same time, we're conscious that because we're fighting, we must create uh, institutions which will make sure that our actions come before what we say. Mm. So that when we say we have acted, which means somehow we must find an underground. So we're discussing this with Ndate Makoti. Mm. And Ndate Makoti asks the question, how are you going to take arts and culture underground? Are you going to say Huma Sekela must play his trumpet underground? <laughs> are you going to say Gwangwa must play his trombone underground? 
And of course, we were startled. <laughs> yeah. We were very startled. But it was a good question. Yes, it was a very good question, and we didn't have an answer to that. <laughs> and we said, go and think about it. Uh, and we thought about it, and we realized, release culture. You know, it's got to be front and center. Let the arts <clears throat> open, you know, space for itself. But underneath, we should then say, Use those we, platforms. Yeah, how do we prepare people to be disciplined, to be political, to learn how to organize, to create organizations? Dr. Sorote, talk to me about the theme today, um, Kusala Izibongo, mm. and the significance of that title. The significance of that title is uh, that uh, Steve is, is very wise. You see, he's borrowing from the tradition of praise poetry. Uh, when everything else has happened, what remains is a praise poetry of what, which records the history of what, hap what happened. So today, when you go to the orbit, that's when you listen to, those, to the praise poetry of that day mm. about the people, about the incident, about the significance of that thing throughout the country and throughout Southern Africa. Quickly, Dr. We've run out of time, but I just want to find it, just your thoughts on the fact that Professor Josetile and Steve Dyer, they've also included some young people in the lineup. Yes, I think that should be the trend, as it was with Miru Art Ensemble. Uh, in Miru Art Ensemble, we put in young people. There were lots of young people who, uh, you remember, who came from uh, mm. June 16, and they were idling. We had to take them on board, make them uh, actors, make them uh, film directors, make them writers, photographers, filmmakers. So that is the trend that is continuing which Steve and Kozitila are doing. And it's very important. Doctor, it's always a pleasure talking to you. I always feel like I'm, I'm learning from you. Uh, on this day, 30 years ago, the likes of our guest, Dr. Wali Suroti, and other artists, including Professor Kozitile and musician Steve Dyer and Jonas Kwanga, survived a raid aimed at their Medu Art Ensemble in Botswana. Today, respected musician Steve Dyer will host a jazz suite commemoration titled Kusale Izubongo at the Orbit in Bramfontein. Google it and find out more about ticket prices and how you can play your part. We take an ad break. You don't go anywhere.